What's going on, guys? Antonio here. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up for me, and let's get into it. All right, so we're on The Hollywood Reporter, and they've got this story here. James Spader returning as Ultron for Marvel's Vision series. James Spader is returning to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The Emmy-winning actor is set to reprise his role as the voice of robotic villain Ultron in Marvel Studios' untitled Vision series the follow-up series to its acclaimed WandaVision show. He first played the role in 2015's Avengers Age of Ultron. Paul Bettany is reprising his role as Vision, the android who fell in love with the Scarlet Witch and then was destroyed by Thanos in Avengers Infinity War. In WandaVision, he returned via magic and the power of grief, but also uh, as a rebuilt Ultra uh, yeah, is a rebuilt android now ghostly white. Uh, Terry Matalas, the much heralded showrunner of Star Trek Picard, is spearheading the new show, which has been referred to as Vision Quest, although that is not its official title and which tackles White Vision's search for a new purpose in life. All right, so the good thing is. We're getting James Spader back. Now, it's been rumored for several months that they're going to lay the foundation of uh, Ultron returning in Captain America Brave New World. That, uh, you know, they're going to bring animanium in and all kind of things. There's a lot of stuff that's apparently going to be set up in Captain America Brave New World which, you know, you've seen the trailer. We know we're getting Red Hulk in there. We know now that Robert Downey Jr. is uh, going to be the uh, the Dr. Doom. And it was reported like a, about a year ago that Robert Downey Jr. had been spotted on the set of Captain America Brave New World. But then they were like, oh, no, well, you know, maybe he was just he was just coming to visit Anthony Maggie. There's a chance. Who knows? There's a chance that, you know, when they do those little end credit scenes, they're going to start uh, teasing the fact that Robert Downey Jr. Uh, is uh, Victor Von Doom. Because we, you know, now that they have officially announced that Robert Downey Jr. is playing Victor Von Doom, if he was on the set, if he was in Atlanta on the set of Captain America Brave New World last year, then certain things start to make sense. They just, they were just like, hey, we, he'll ha he'll make a little cameo here. They were, you know, set it up the same way they were setting up Kang and, and Thanos and all the other stuff that they were doing. So... Um, I would not be shocked if we do see any of that, but James Spader, uh, I'm, I'm really, some people really reviled age of Ultron. It's not as good to me as the first Avengers. I will say that, uh, Josh Whedon, uh, definitely mentioned that certain things that he tried to do with age of Ultron Marvel, uh, Marvel interfered with and would not allow him to do everything that he wanted to do. Uh, he, you know, he still he says he, he stood by the film, but certain, certain things, uh, you can see some of the deleted scenes in the narrative that he was trying to paint. And then, uh, Marvel was like, no, I, I think they tested the movie and people were like, eh, I don't know, you know, cause they do those test screenings and, and the audience feedback, and, uh, you know, maybe people were not feeling what uh, uh, Age of Ultron ultimately became. I did. You know, it, it still made like eight hundred million dollars. But, uh, it, you know, it was a hit. But it just um, I, I've watched Age of Ultron multiple times, but it's not my it's, it's definitely not the first. The first Avengers is so good. And I've said repeatedly that it's on my Mount Rushmore of of superhero movies, you know, so that's, you know, Captain America, the winter soldier, um, and, uh, Avengers infinity war along with Spider-Man two from Sam Raimi. I thought those were, you know, those four films are, are my Mount Rushmore of superhero movies, but I like James Spader. 
Um, I like his voice. I know, uh, you know, he joined Age of Ultron because of his relationship with Robert Downey Jr. They're like best friends. And uh, I think he named his cat after Robert Downey Jr. He had a cat and that he named after Robert Downey Jr. There's an old movie. It's on Prime now. It's called Tough Enough. Um, was it Tough Turf or something like that? It's um that that movie came out like eighty one, and that that's the first time that uh, Robert Downey Jr. and uh, James Spader worked together on on screen, and they were both you know I've seen that movie a bunch of times when I was a kid, and and uh, I saw it. I saw it on Amazon Prime and I was like, man, I ain't seen this movie in like 30 something years. Let me watch it. So I ended up watching it. It was like, and it's a lot of times you watch old movies and they, they don't hold up and that it was what it is. It's a, it's a weak plot, but it was cool to see Robert Downey Jr. And, and a very young James Spader on, uh, well, like I said, I think it's called tough turf or tough enough or something. Um, but uh, that was where they became friends and they've, you know, they just carried on through that, that whole situation. So um, it's good that we're getting Spader back. I like his voice. His voice is, is uh, very soothing. And uh, him actually, you know, because they did the What If series and they used Ultron in the What If series and they got a they got a voice actor. They they didn't get James Spader. They got they got a voice actor to come. And so it was kind of. Um, there were only a couple of the original Avengers or people that appeared in the movies that were, you know, like John Favreau and they got, uh, that was like Chadwick Boseman gave one of his last performances in the what if series and stuff like that. But a lot of those people, they just had, uh, what Michael Douglas, I know Michael Douglas, he, uh, he provided his voice and, uh, uh, you know, so, and I think Mark Ruffalo was the voice of the Hulk and stuff like that. So there were a couple of people that had appeared in the movies that, that lent their voice to the what if cartoon. Uh, oh yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch. I forgot about him. He was Dr. Strange. He, he actually did his voice for that, but they had a, they had a voice actor for Ultron, but now we're getting the real thing. So here we go. James Spader is coming back. What do you guys think about that? Get in the comments. We're on the road to 3000. I need you. I want your Facebook, Instagram. I'm on X. I'm on threads. All at Akari Press. If you type in AkariPress.com, it will take you to my comic book brand, Way of the Gun. I've got the link to that and my gum road in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out.